Welcome, you're watching V News Daily, and now today's top stories in brief. Prime Minister Nguyễn Tấn Dũng meets Sudanese Minister of Communications and Information Technology. Austrian President Hans Fischer attends Austria Vietnam Business Forum. Travel agencies and aviation sector launch products to revive domestic tourism. On March 30th, Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dũng met Sudanese Minister of Communications and Information Technology Mohamed Abdelkrim Alad, who is on a working visit to Vietnam. Prime Minister Dũng said Vietnam attaches great importance to boosting cooperation in economics, trade, investment, science, technology, tourism and at international forums with Sudan and African countries. He also pledged the Vietnamese government's support for the two countries' ministries, especially in implementing cooperative agreements and encouraging Vietnam's IT companies to invest in Sudan. The Sudanese minister said Sudan hopes to continue cooperation in information technology with Vietnam. He also committed to create favorable conditions for Vietnamese IT companies to invest in the country. Ad Hart added that Sudan is also keen to promote ties with Vietnam in agriculture, energy and oil and gas. National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung hosted a reception for Mark Edward Tucker, Executive Director, cum President of AIA Group in Hanoi on May 30th. At the reception, Hung praised AIA for its community activities in Vietnam. Hung said, Vietnam still holds a lot of potential for insurance sector especially life insurance. He added that since the insurance business law took effect in April 2001, it has created a legal framework for insurance firms to develop stronger in a sustainable manner. He said he hopes AIA will continue with its community activities and offer better service for customers. Tucker said AIA always attaches importance to the Vietnamese market with products for the best interests of the Vietnamese people. He added that AIA is developing more insurance products for Vietnam's socio-economic development. Nearly 150 Vietnamese and Austrian businesses gathered at a business forum in Ho Chi Minh City on May 30th. Austrian President Heinz Fischer and Vietnamese Deputy Prime Minister Nguyễn Thiện Nhân attended the event. The forum was expected to open up a new stage of development in the Vietnamese-Austrian economic cooperation to a doubling two-way trade in the next four years. Speaking at the event, President Fischer said the forum will help the business communities from both countries to look at new ways of working together and explore investment opportunities. Both countries and their businesses see a lot of potential for expanding cooperation which will help the country during its global economic integration process, he said. Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen said, Vietnam always creates the best possible conditions for Austrian investors. He went on to say that if foreign investors are successful, including those from Austria, then it is good for Vietnam's economy and its image overseas. In the future, Vietnam will prioritize investment projects in high-tech, green technologies, support industries, education, culture and health care, he added. The Vietnam-Italy Friendship Organization hosted a meeting in Hanoi on May 30th to mark the 66th Republic Day of Italy. Addressing the event, Italian Ambassador to Vietnam Lorenzo Angeloni said he hopes the Italian Embassy and the Vietnam-Italy Friendship Association will help the Vietnamese understand more about Italian culture and art, as well as provide the Italian people with more information about Vietnam. Vice President of the Vietnam Union of Friendship Organizations Le Vinh Thu said he is delighted at the growing friendship and cooperation between Vietnam and Italy. Regarding the recent earthquake that shook northern Italy, Thu said he believes the Italian government and people will overcome the disaster and record greater achievements in the future. In 2011, two-way trade between Vietnam and Italy hit 2.5 billion US dollars. 
investment, official development assistance and joint initiatives in culture and sports are also on the rise. A group of overseas and domestic policymakers discussed ways of creating and carrying out sustainable social policies at a seminar in Hanoi, May 30th. The event was jointly organized by the Ministry of Labor, who invalids and social affairs, the International Labor Organization, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, and the Han Sito Foundation. In the past, Vietnam has found it difficult to generate sustainable jobs and reduce poverty. On top of this, access to education in remote mountainous areas is still limited. Healthcare services are often inadequate, and there are still a substantial number of minorities children. At the seminar, the general consensus was that the country should provide poor ethnic households with more agricultural land, access to modern technologies, and offer vocational training to poor workers. They also said that Vietnam needs to invest more in the infrastructure in poor areas and provide people in need with access to free health checkups and insurance. Vietnam produced over 2 million tons of aquatic products in the first five months of this year, up by 4.3 percent over the same period last year, according to the GSO. Fish accounted for just over 1.5 million tons, up by 3.7 percent, and stream output was 182,700 tons, up 6.6 percent. In May alone, the country's aquatic output hit over 1 million tons, a year-on-year -year rise of 4.8 percent. Of this, fish and shrimp production was 800,600 tons and 129,600 tons respectively. The high figures are attributed to the favorable weather and the stable export prices of key products such as crayfish and shrimp. In modern fish farms in the southernmost province of Cà Mau, shrimp output hit 14 southern tons in May, up by 20 percent year on year. Travel agencies and aviation sector are launching many products from now to December to revive domestic tourism, given that outbound tours are on the increase. Recently, the economic downturn has pushed domestic tourism into gloominess. Particularly, inbound tours are losing their competitiveness as more and more Vietnamese people opt for travelling overseas. A pair of tickets to Saigon costs as much as a tour to Thailand, which is inclusive of accommodation for extra days. Thus, with such good prices and services, domestic tourism sectors will face difficulties in competing with neighbouring countries. A plane ticket price contributes most to the price of a tour package. That's why Vietnam Airlines and the Ho Chi Minh City Travel Association have chosen 18 travel agencies and recently five companies based in Hanoi, including Viet Tran Tour, Hanoi Red Tours, Ang Duong, Viet Travel Hanoi and Saigon Tourist Hanoi, to join the domestic tourism stimulus program. In future, Vietnam Airlines will lower its prices by 40%. Together with 20 and 30 percent discounts offered by travel agencies, the customers will be able to enjoy tours at lower costs, ranging between 30 and 40 percent savings. We hope the program will make a breakthrough in domestic tourism this year. Immediately after being chosen for the program, these five travel agencies launched many domestic tours, with prices reduced by 3 or 4 million VND. Viet Trang Tour will take tourists to southwestern coastal provinces such as Cần Thơ, Bạc Liêu, Sóc Trăng and Cà Mau. Neighboring tourist attractions like Mũi Né, Vũng Tàu and Nha Trang are also included in its itineraries. So far, the company has offered 20 programs to customers at a discount of 30 to 40 percent. Domestic travel was once very expensive, but thanks to this discount program, I have decided to take a tour with my family. According to industry insiders, the number of tour orders was on the increase, especially those to seas and islands after the program was launched. Over 11,000 customers have made reservations for domestic tours so far. Many experts hope the program will help Vietnam fulfill its goal of luring nearly 32 million home visitors this year. We've come to the end of today's broadcast. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.